Hey, what's happening guys? Today, I've got a neat little soldering kit for you. It's a game, digital tube game soldering kit. And it looks like it uses one, two, three ICs. There is the uh, QR code for the manual if you want to check it out. From Geek LJT, of course. Yeah, okay, so here we got PC board. PC board, STC chip, it must be an ST microprocessor, 74HC595, that's a, uh, you know, 8 in, serial in parallel out, shift register, that's the word, digital tube display, that is a 7 segment, probably 4 digit LED display, buzzer, button, button cap, a switch, switch cap, two color LED, USB socket, and a terminal block, so it's not a whole lot in there be fun this video is sponsored by our friends at solder stick uh, check them out there'll be a, a video at the end for all your wire connecting needs they have insulation displacement connectors uh, ring and spade terminals um, uh, uh, solderless butt connectors you just heat them up and I even believe I saw some uh, like a like a Wago connector type deal okay so here we go nice PC board so glad I don't have to design them anymore great coogly moogly surface mount my arch enemy we meet again Dum, dum, dum. Well then. Holy camoleons. Oh, I can never get these little bags open. Well, due to the fact that I can actually see that, I think I should be able to solder it. But where's the other one? There's a US bill. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to solder that one. So we got switches and switches and switch caps. <laughs> there it was. It was hiding all along. Yeah, that's where we're going to get started. Did you just fall off of there? You little rascal, you. All right, that's where we're going to get started. Be back in a minute. All right. I think we're going to start with this USB jack simply because it's far enough that I think I'm going to be able to get into it. It should be too awful. That's going to fit in there like so. Yeah, I should be able to get that with little to no trouble. At least that's my hope. A little bit of Uncle Rob's magic solder flux guaranteed to stick. If not, Uncle Rob will come to your house personally and stick it to the PC board. I don't know if he'll really do that. I just kind of made that up. 
But I do know Uncle Robin. He's a pretty cool dude. He runs a group where they have a bunch of old farts, old veterans and whatnot. And uh, he teaches them electronics, so that's pretty cool, huh? All right, here we go. Get some of the magic going in there. Same on this side. I want to just flood it up in there like that. I'll have to check that, but uh, so far, so good. All right, let's go with the Shift register. Of course, I don't know which one of these is the shift register, so we're going to have to look here. Are you going to focus? I guess not. <sighs> one moment, please. Okay, this one here is the STC microcontroller. And the reason I know that is uh, my dad had macular degeneration and have had some pretty, pretty powerful magnifiers around. So let's get the shift register. And what I want to do just get there's the dot just want to get a little bit of solder on one pin like that let me get this guy I'm gonna sit him in place Sorry, this is for me, like, incredibly nerve-wracking. All right, do not move. Okay, let's apply a little flux over here. I'm being ginger because that's really not on there very well with just that one pin tacked. Then we're going to try the what I call the Ben Heck flood method. There. Beautiful, right? <laughs> no, not at all. But that's what it is supposed to look like at this stage. So now, we move on to the stage two. That was really weird how it did that. And stage two is... We just get a little bit of solder wick. A little solder wicky here. 
and we should just be able to go in and clean that right out of there. All right, let's see where we're at now. You gonna focus for me? Hmm. Still looks like hammered dog excrement. I'm gonna have to go over it some more. This is the first time I've ever tried this method. One thing you do need to be careful of is how long you hold onto the solder wick, right? Looks like I still have a bridge in the middle there. Maybe one on the end. So he hits it again. Yeah, what I was saying, you want to be careful how long you hold on to that bare copper because copper is just a excellent conductor of not only electricity but heat so give yourself an inch or two of space between where you're holding it and where you're applying the heat oh i think i got them all let's have a look now Got them all. Now I'll do the other side, but I won't subject you to watching that. All right. So there it is, completed. <laughs> now we'll do the microprocessor. Second verse, same as the first. A little bit louder, a whole lot worse. I won't make you watch. All right. Got them both on. Clean up that flux a little alcohol. Yeah, they don't look bad. No. The real question is, who here thinks they're going to explode anyway when I plug it in? Raise your hands. My hand is up as well. Don't feel bad. Okay. What should we do next? Switches? We can do switches. Switches. We don't need no stinking switches. Well, unfortunately, we actually do need some stinking switches. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun trying to light these things while I'm filming them and solder through the camera with zero depth perception oh come on don't make me get something and have to clamp this thing down just behave there we go 
go. Get these guys all soldered. And see, this is my speed through hole. That fancy pantsy surface mount stuff. That's for now. You can't see a damn thing I'm doing again. Sorry. As I was saying that, that surface mount stuff, that's for that's for them young whippersnappers. No, no goat like me. And by goat, I do not mean greatest of all time. I mean like an old billy goat. Because I am nowhere near the greatest solder of all time. And if I ever attempted to claim I was, wherever Master Chief Lopez is, if he's still alive or not, he would come find me. And carry out his threats and my uh, basic electricity and electronics class to murder me with a soldering iron. And I believe he would. And to this day, I, I still believe he might do that to me. Nah, Chief Lopez was a great guy. He had a lot of energy, though. Not that there's anything wrong with having a lot of energy. Some people are just like that. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am not. So far, so good. All right, well, I'll do the switch next. Sorry, the camera stand. Yeah, once again, I didn't get paid this month. Again, my MCN is BBTV, broadband television out of Vancouver, Canada, who are not paying their creators. That's broadband TV, bbtv.com, out of Vancouver. You see, for the first four months, I didn't publish their name. Now we put in the buzzer, which should have gone in before the something else because it's smaller. But don't do this. Never bring the solder over on the uh, iron. You want just a little bit on the iron for thermal transfer. Then you want to place the iron against the pad and the leg, and then you apply the solder. Then you remove, remove the solder first, then the iron. Sorry. Now there's a header. I will solder it in. You don't have to watch. Last up's the LED. It's showing us dots down, so dots down. Yeah, it's going relatively easily like that. Nah, I'm sorry, guys. You know, it, all the wind has been taken out of my sails. I'll solder this in and come back. All right, everything is assembled. Take a last look. Make sure I don't. S yeah, that still looks like a uh, solder bridge there. Looks like I got it. 
confidence is not high. Don't see any other solder bridges. About time to plug her in. Well, here we are. Moment of truth. As you can see, I put the case on it. it looks pretty cool. Here goes nothing. Like I said, nothing. Hmm. Alright, we'll do it a different way. Alright, let's try it this way. Well, lights up. And it appears to say C O O C. Huh. I think I'm gonna have to read the damn instructions. Is that what I'm gonna have to do? Yeah, I'm gonna have to read the manual. Dang damn it. Okay. I don't really think there's much of a game here. It says function demo. That's a Random number, counters, isometric series, flow series. Yeah. Let's try them and see what happens, right? Okay, so power on first time. Press A once. One moment, please. All right, let's try this again. Sorry about that. So we turn it on, and it says, after power on, press A, the digital tube shows one. Press C or D to generate random numbers. Okay, so press. There's our random number seven. Press uh, this one, 7099, 6095. Yeah, generate random numbers. But if I press D, no, it does. Okay. It did not do that a minute ago. And then press B to clear. All right, so now we'll do the counter. We're going to press A twice. It should display digit 2. Okay, A twice displays digit 2. Press D to add 1. You see, D cleared it. So that one doesn't really work. All right, we'll do isometric series. Press A three times. One, two, three. Press D, the value increase according to the equal series. I just get seven. Zero, seven, zero, seven. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Flow animation. Press A four times. One, two, three, four. And press B, C, D key. Okay, how about C? Oh, yeah, that's animation. B, D. And the final one is five presses, a countdown timer. One, two, three, four, five. Press D, C, D. What's that say? 67. Press B to start the countdown. Yeah. So, it is an interesting little device. It wasn't very hard to solder, even for an old cruddy buddy like me. So, I don't remember this geek LJT company contact me. I just got an email from somebody called Chrissity who said, hey, I sent you two games. Hope you like them. And, uh, well, I like the first one, so that's pretty cool. 
All right, guys. This video once again was spotted, spotted, sponsored by our friends at Solder Stick. So, their website www.solderstick.com. Give them a look. You know, just look at their stuff. If it's for you, check it out. If not, you know, move on. But check out their their link. Yeah, you know, for helping us out. If you don't mind, I appreciate it. I'd like to thank you for watching. You, you, right there. Yes, that's you. I'm, I am pointing at you. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment or a like or a dislike. Just interact with it somehow. Make sure YouTube uh, spread the video out to more people and it helps me out. I appreciate it, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.